What's good, y'all? Fusion here, back with another video. Um, it's been a while. I haven't really been doing a lot of videos lately. I've been working, whatever. Uh, Lakers Nuggets uh, game just ended, and I did want to talk about just the box score real quick, uh, go over the game, um, and just what I saw from the game and our issues. Um, I'll probably drop another video tomorrow just reacting to what everybody else is saying. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and get started. Lakers uh, lost. Uh, the Nuggets won 108 to 106. Um, sort of rem sort of reminiscent of the uh, game two. Uh, Jamal Murray hitting a clutch shot towards the end. Um, but I just want to talk about this real quick. Sloppy basketball from the Lakers, especially towards the end there. They were getting good shots. Um, and then on the other side, not playing defense. Um, mainly Austin Reeves. He did usual Austin Reeves activities. Uh, being aggressive on the offensive end and then not showing up at all on the defensive end and just being attacked and exploited. Um, he ended the night with 19, 3, and 4. Um, 6 and 11 from the field. 1 for 4 from 3. He was pretty much carrying us on the offensive end towards the end of the game. Um, but, and then on the defensive end, he just disappeared. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, 14 and 6. Um, 6 for 15 for, from the field. 2 for 10 from the 3. Um, bad shooting night again from D'Lo. Live by D'Lo. Dive by D'Lo. He can't have 14 points in a must-win game. If he has that, then we have no chance of winning. And, well, that's what they just did. Uh, Roy Hachimura, he had 15. Um, he played well. Well, better. Um, he was a little bit more aggressive. If he would have done that towards the um, towards the beginning of our um, series, I think that we would have been in a better spot and better like position. He's an athletic big guy. He can get to the paint. He can score the mid-range jump shot. Um, I expect the more than 15 and five, um, especially if he's going to be our, one of our key, key building box, building blocks, excuse me, from the future. So yeah, we need that. Um, we have Anthony Davis. He went down. Um, he hurt his shoulder in the third quarter. I believe that was, he ended the night with 17 and 15. Um, 8 of 11 from the field. He shot zero threes. thank goodness. Um, overall, not a bad night except for that injury. But even with that injury, he was only out for four minutes. Um, well, he had 40 minutes. So he actually played, played damn near the whole game. Um, I'll probably do a video over like the Lakers season, maybe later on this week. Um, so you could expect a video from me tomorrow and um something later on this week so make sure you are subscribed lastly lebron he had 39 and 11 he was 11 for 21 from the field three for seven from three um overall not a bad night from lebron but again we're relying too much on this old man to do everything and he's playing well he hit some great shots at the end he got to the line um, he was aggressive towards the end there, trying to find his uh, final rhythm, trying to find a basket. And most of the time, he did do that. Um, he also had four steals. Great on the defensive end. Um, Austin Reeves had, had three steals and two blocks the whole game, um, which is good, of course. But if you watch the game, you'll see, you know, he towards the end, he just lacked. Uh, of course, our bench was garbage per usual. Um, this was another instance where we needed another defensive big. I said that at the beginning of the year. I said that during the trade deadline. Go watch my videos. That's something I always talk about with the Lakers. Needing another defensive big just in case and someone to help AD. Especially currently, we are. We have the best chance, I think, of beating Denver. Um we had the best chance excuse me um if we had another big we had another another defensive big andre Dumb, uh drummond clint capella someone who could be big and 
be in the way that would help out a lot especially on those rebounds we lost on the rebounds again key timely rebounds that we could have gotten um 45 to 41 uh 45 total uh 41 uh for the lakers 45 for denver uh denver had 19 uh nine offensive rebounds lakers had 11 uh denver had 36 defensive and the lakers had 30 those i think two or three offensive rebounds came at the end of the game um just lack of energy towards the end again not having that bench to fill in and help out uh, the only person who really was present was torian prince and he really didn't do anything um he had decent minutes on the defensive end but he had four points uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, he has six points and three assists. Uh, but we need more from him. In those three min- uh, in those 13 minutes, he should have been more uh, aggressive. I think he can score. He has the ability to score. He's just not getting a lot of shots up. That's one thing that the Lakers needed. Again, someone who can score the basketball. This is another night where we couldn't find any scoring. I say this... And I've said this multiple times about this Lakers team. Watch my videos. Watch them shits. It was another night at 106 points. Again, we're not winning any games if we score 106 and 108. That's not where we win games. We need more offensive scoring. And because of that, it's biting us in the ass again for another loss. We shot 28.6, 29% from the three, 10 for 35. Denver shot 42% from the three, 16 for 28. I mean, 16 for 38, excuse me, from the three. It's just not good look, man. It's just not a good look. Let's look at the Denver Nuggets stats just real quick. Some keys where they, um, they attacked well and just how their team flows like together obviously they have three bulk scores we have 32 from from jamal murray 25 and 20 and 9 from Jokic, and then 26 uh, from porter um Catavius caldwell pope have five points three of those five points was a very very important timely jump shot that he made that really helped those uh, <laughs> um helped the nuggets stay in the game those are the type of shots that we are missing. He hit those. Um, Aaron Gordon. He has 7 points, 13 rebounds, and 6 assists. He'll never really score the hell out of you. Um, of course, this... Um, uh, um, was that the third? Third game, I think he had 20-something. But usually, he's not going to score that many points. Uh, let's see what he is averaging just real quick. Yeah, currently he's averaging 13.9 for, uh, yes, yeah, so 14 points a game. He's not a scorer. His, his main job is to be that lob threat and to get offensive rebounds, which is what he did. Five offensive, five offensive rebounds, eight offensive rebounds. He was very active here. Something he does well, and that's his whole job. That's what makes this team scary. And then you have... 6'10 shooting threes, hitting them shits. Nothing that you can really do there um, when we don't have our defenders and our players aren't wanting to play defense. No one else really did anything off their bench. Um, Reggie Jackson had eight. Um, he had two threes, two for six. He was vip- he was actually pushing the pace quite well. That's one thing I did see there, um, being quick and being active. Um But other than that, not really else to be seen from this bench. But Jokic down the stretch, he came down, hit two quick buckets to keep them in the game. After that, a tough shot that LeBron hit. Um, He asked for the ball. He asked for the ball back to back. And then he, no, he, yeah, he asked for the ball back to back. He scored once and then he threw a good pass. Dude missed the shot. He got the rebound, scored again. 
Um, that kept them in the game. That 20 rebounds kept them in the game. That's another big man that needed to be there to help out on the rebounding. Again, this was all, this has, this was the team that we are supposed to be trying to pass up. This is the team that we need to be. We have to get through this team. And we should have been building to get through this team. We didn't. We didn't get... We didn't grab any big guards, really. Um, and I mean, like, big guards, like... Someone who can... At least jump in the way of Michael Porter Jr. He's 6'10", 6 6'8". 6 uh, Jamal Murray is pretty tall. Um, I think that can take his cover pose. He's 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 but they have size here. So we're going to need bigger guys who can move their feet who can score and we didn't pick up anything who can score um austin reeves had a good night he had a good night last night but we still lost the game a d'angelo russell he had a decent night he had 14 two for 10 from the three he shot horribly again but he sort of got us on the board we still lost the game not enough offense again so it's just another l it's just another l um anyway that's all i got for you guys today um again i'm gonna do another upload tomorrow just a tough game tough loss again uh the lakers are now out the playoffs hey i'm so glad we got that nba cup um this is a successful season because we got the weak ass NBA Cup. Just a bad, bro. Just a bad look. Bad basketball, especially towards the end there, where we could have got a shot off, but we got deflated when he hit that shot, and then we just started scrambling, and then we end up losing. Just like we did before. Just like we did before. Um, I can see a lot of changes coming to this team. There should be a lot of changes coming to this team. We need another big. Um, I think that LeBron has one more year. So I can see us trying to push for somebody major this summer. Um, I don't see D'Lo being on this team that much longer. His, he's too inconsistent. We need to keep Ruri. But that's all I got, man. Uh, the rest of these niggas can go. I'm going to be 100 everything with you. During the trade deadline, we got Spencer Dimwitty. We weren't going to win anything. We weren't. I mean, you could have looked at this roster day one, which is what I did, and tell you that we wasn't going to win shit. Everybody was talking shit mid- Mid-season, oh my goodness, man, the Lakers are doing so well. This is going to be our year, all this and all that. Be realistic. That's the problem with these modern NBA Laker fans. They think if you just have LeBron, then you're going to win every single game. Hell, fuck, no. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Eventually, we're going to learn. Eventually, this team is going to learn. And eventually, um, Darvin Ham is going to learn how to coach. Uh, but, but that's all I got. See you guys later.